Welcome to Irish Illustrated at irishillustrated.com. I'm Kevin Sinclair, and I want to talk about uh, Bubakar Treyor, a four-star uh, defensive lineman out of Catholic Memorial in Massachusetts. So right off the hop, um, a good profile school for Notre Dame in that it's a private Catholic school. And this is a prospect, um, you know, at 6'4", around that 250 range, kind of right in that sweet spot where everyone kind of wonders, is he a three technique or a strong side defensive end? You know, Notre Dame needs both, but they really need, I have personally thought, a good strong side defensive end that they can develop into a multi-year guy like Isaac Rochelle was, like Khalid Kareem was. Thinking back on those two players, they were so massively important for Notre Dame. And we haven't really seen that type. Notre Dame moving Myron Tegovaloa Amosa over there last season. We'll see if we'll see some sort of combination of Riley Mills and Nana Osafo Menza there this upcoming fall. But in the future, Notre Dame really needs needs that anchor at that big end, strong side end role. Is Treyor a strong side end, or is he just going to end up sort of as a three tech? Again, Notre Dame needs both, but I wanted to take a, a closer look at his film to sort of get a better idea of which role he fits best, and I think I did that. Let's have a look. So again, first we'll have a look at the uh, full game perspective. Uh, Treyor off the hop. I'm just showing that edge rush ability, uh, nice uh, pass rush move there on the left tackle to get uh, around him and bending to the quarterback. Um, so, you know, really showing that edge rush skill quickly. And then I saw him affecting the ball often, um, getting his hand in passing lanes, batting down passes, deflecting passes. We just saw that there. Here he is out of a four point stance, getting up, you know, he's got the size and the length and the range to, um, you know, make plays on balls uh, back in the pocket and, um, and he takes advantage of that. And um, here he is uh, doing a good job of um, crashing down and, and stuffing uh, off tackle carries, um, you know, inside carries. And here he is uh, like a bull in a China shop attacking again, um, getting up to sort of take away passing lanes and then collecting himself and taking down the quarterback. As you see him here again, getting up and then collecting himself, changing direction, and with an ankle sweep on the quarterback there to take him down in the in the pocket. So really nice, um, you know, body of work uh, from a kind of well-rounded standpoint. Here he is again gumming up the run so he can get after the quarterback and good at stuffing the run. And now we'll just look at some uh, extra clips, some from back in his shortened COVID uh, season and then some more through his junior year. And here he is again just showing really good quickness. If you want to know, can he play defensive end? Well, watch this long arm move as he bends around. That's a large, large tackle there. Um, looking like he's 6'6 six, six or 6'7. Six, Treyor here with just standing him up, stunning him with that long arm. Really good at bending uh, around the edge and getting after the quarterback. Love his ankle sweep ability. That's a uh, something that really impresses me about him. Here he is again getting around that quarterback with a different pass rush move. Real quick hips, uh, really good um, length to sort of, again, use that long arm to keep tackles out of his body. And then attacking inside run. There's just an outstanding example of that. Um, you know, disengaging from the block quickly. We'll have a look at that here. And then sprawling out to stuff the inside run. Um, you just see all of those qualities Notre Dame really needs in that strong side end or big end roll coming out of a four-point stance here. Excellent bull rush, stunning that tackle, spinning out of it and getting after the quarterback. Uh, you know, good awareness there in the backfield. And then just more stuffing the run. Here he is crashing inside, uh, stuffing the run there. Definitely a good five technique defensive lineman, but he can stand up on the edge as well. Here he is again, good read, good patience, good discipline, making the tackle uh, inside. And here he is again, taking away the run. So, you know, again, watch the full game there and then different tidbits throughout his uh, last year of football. And, you know, this is a guy where, again, I just love um, his edge rush ability, that sort of uh, the long arm that he shows, the length and size and quickness um, how well he can sort of crash the run inside. Um, you know, he does a really good job of uh, taking away passing lanes by getting up high. Um, and he can get out for the quarterback. And I think that there's enough range of motion there and enough tools for him to really, uh, you know, thrive at that strong side end roll um, and not play uh, three technique 
Not that Notre Dame doesn't need both, but again, in my opinion, I think in this class, it's really important to find a quality strong side end. And this, I think this could be their guy. Um, of course, there's Jason Moore and others. So we'll stay tuned to that and keep an eye on uh, Trey Orr, who decommitted from Boston College recently. Notre Dame, a big player for him. He really likes Marcus Freeman and the Irish, so stay tuned. That's it for me, though. Thanks for tuning into Irish Illustrated. I'm Kevin Sinclair.